Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another fun thing to share with you today. It's this, the expression slider from Synthrotech. And as you can see, it's just a fader with a jack. And that's pretty much it. Funny thing about this, I remember seeing this video when they released this product quite some time ago. And then I found this red fader cap and the whole thing came out of this red fader cap. Literally, I was like, hmm, if I got one of those, and I painted the enclosure because it just comes with a bare metal enclosure. If I painted that red and put the red fader cap on it, it would probably look really cool. And indeed it does. I'm very pleased with the aesthetic. But what is this little thing? Well, it's effectively a fader version of this. And this is a Roland EV5, but any expression pedal, there are a number of different expression pedals on the market. The way they work is effectively there's a potentiometer inside of here. And as you do this with your foot, you control the volume or some other parameter of whatever this end is plugged into. And on this end, you can see there's just a standard quarter inch TRS jack. Well, this on the expression slider is also a TRS jack. So you just need a TRS cable like this and you plug that in. And then you basically can use this anywhere that you could use this. So for instance, with a keyboard or a synthesizer, a lot of times they have expression pedal input. So you plug in that pedal and then you can do, you can control that parameter with your feet. But you could just as easily use the expression slider in that instance. Or a lot of guitar pedals also have expression pedal input. So you control, say, a reverb pedal and control the reverb amount. Well, you could just as easily do that and control it with your fingers using the expression slider. be thinking why would I want to do that right like like if I'm playing guitar with two hands wouldn't it be easier to just use my foot or if I'm playing keyboard with two hands wouldn't it just be easier to use my foot and that's true in that traditional sense if you're just playing one keyboard in a band situation but if you're more of like a DJ or an electronic music composer where you've got a ton of things out in front of you and you're using sequencers and things so sometimes it's just a lot more intuitive to have a little slider there that you can control and you can also see it. And that's actually one of the things that I like about it is it has these marks. So you can see on the side here and on the top, there are these marks. So if you find a really sweet spot right here, right here, whatever, it's very easy to get back to that sweet spot. So if you are a modular synth person, then there are a number of modules out there on the market that allow you to use expression pedals like this with your modular. I actually have one in my Eurorack back here. It's made by ADAC, but there's a lot of companies out there that make similar modules. In fact, Synthrotech actually makes one, but it allows you to basically integrate a expression pedal into your Eurorack patches. Well, you could just as easily integrate something like this into your Eurorack setup. And in fact, I think this is actually easier to integrate because it is so much smaller. So the cool thing about this particular build is it is seriously one of the easiest things I've ever built. There's the slider pot, there's a resistor, a PCB, and a jack, and I think that's it. I mean, it's literally one of the simplest projects that I've ever built. I did a time-lapse video, and it was one of the shortest time-lapse videos that I've ever done. So anyway, very easy to put together, and I think it's like $29 or something from Synthrotech. It's very, very inexpensive. So there you go. If you like my DIY projects, there is a playlist in the description. It has hundreds of various musical DIY projects that I've done over the years. Uh, this is just one. But uh, if you like what I do on this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.